I just noticed there you've got a cabin filter there and I mean we've fitted a few of them in the uh, servicing videos. Talk to me a bit about what a cabin filter is and why a car needs it. Look we, we think cabin air filters are really important in this day and age. You know, this is another area where we think OEs drop the ball a little bit. A lot of their cabin filters don't fit that well and don't seal into the housings which kind of defeats the purpose of having a filter in here in the, in the first place. Yep. The importance of a cabin air filter, there's, there's, there's two things. You know, one of them is making sure the occupants aren't exposed to all that airborne pollution that they're getting when they're driving along the road. It's also protecting them from pollens, maybe things that are going to aggravate allergies. Yep. These new N99 filters, we made them fine enough to also stop wood smoke if you're in a bushfire prone area and also pick up human aerosols, you know, that carry viruses. That's the first thing. The other thing that I think cabineers are good for is just keeping your HVAC system clean. Yep. You know, that big air conditioning condenser and that heater core, they effectively end up coated in dirt and dust over the years. Mm. Um, coupled with some moisture from the, the cold HVAC system, you end up growing mildew in there. It just, and this ends up clogging it up, creating flow issues and, yeah. then, and then maintenance. So it's just good from, from that perspective. Well, I mean, the other thing is too, is people probably don't replace these as often as they need to. And I mean, obviously every car is in a different situation, but what's the sort of service life on one of these? Look, we recommend that uh, they're changed every year. Okay. And yeah, that's because they, you know, over, over the course of a year, they are gonna get a fair bit of dust and pollutant in there. These particular ones also have activated carbon in them. And, you know, by, by 12 months, they usually, they've reacted all the activated carbon. So all the fumes that you're getting off the road have okay. now been absorbed. A lot of people do forget they're in the car. And so they often get very underserviced. But I would always suggest, you know, 12 months, 15,000 kilometers. Typically you change it when you change your oil filter.